Jerusalem is one of the oldest cities in the world, and is the oldest historic site to date. Many stories have happened in the city of three religions, and also mysteries that may not be solved. As is the case from one of the handprint finds in Jerusalem. A moat that once stood in the way of the invading crusader armies has been discovered beneath the old city of Jerusalem, bringing to life some of the bloodiest and most iconic battles of the later Middle Ages. While excavating the ancient line of defense, archaeologists also happened upon a handprint carved into the wall of the moat, yet are unable to offer an explanation as to who made the imprint or what significance it may hold. The protective channel surrounded the famous city walls and is thought to have been dug no later than the 10th century CE. According to Israel Antiquities Authority excavation director Zubair Adawi, the moat was at least 10 meters, 33 feet, wide and between, and 2 and 7 meters, 6.5 to 23 feet, deep. Its function was to prevent the enemy besieging Jerusalem from approaching the walls and breaking into the city, explained Adawi in a statement sent to IFL Science. Moats, usually filled with water, are well known from fortifications and castles in Europe, but here the moat was dry, its width and depth presenting an obstacle slowing down the attacking army. The famous city walls and gates that surround the old city today were built in the 16th century by the Turkish Ottoman Sultan Suleiman I the Magnificent, yet the ancient fortifications that protected Jerusalem prior to this point would have been far more impenetrable, say the archaeologists. In the eras of knights' battles, swords, arrows, and charging cavalry, the fortifications of Jerusalem were formidable and complex, comprising walls and elements to hold off large armies storming the city, explained Dr. Amit Riem, Jerusalem Regional Director at the Israel Antiquities Authority. Among the most intriguing elements discovered by the team was a handprint within the wall of the moat. Whether the hand that made the mark belonged to a city defender, an invading knight or someone else remains a complete mystery. Does it symbolize something? Does it point to a specific nearby element? Ask the researchers. Or is it just a local prank? Time may tell. So what do you think about this? Write your thinking comment column. See you again.